According to the Pentagon's Missile Defense Review, China has about 125 nuclear missiles that can threaten the U.S. Russia has developed long-range cruise missile capability that the U.S. says is a violation of the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty and claims to have developed a new hypersonic, hyperfast missile to add to its vast strategic arsenal. North Korea has worked aggressively to develop intercontinental ballistic missiles and could resume testing if nuclear talks with the U.S. fail. And Iran recently introduced what it claims is a long-range cruise missile and conducted a failed satellite launch that the U.S. said violated a U.N. ban by using ballistic missile technology. The Trump administration has expanded missile defense systems that use powerful radar and interceptor missiles to shoot down incoming missiles. There are now 44 U.S. ground-based interceptors concentrated in Alaska that can potentially stop long-range missiles mid-flight high in the upper atmosphere. More are planned. The Aegis systems, along with THAAD and Patriot batteries, are designed to deal with mid- and short-range missiles. However, security analysts worry that proposed budget cuts could stagnate further development. The U.S. government needs to increase its missile defense capabilities. Um, that means increasing their testing program. That means um, deploying more, perhaps, interceptors on the U.S. homeland. The U.S. also needs to invest more in developing space-based laser technology, she says, that can destroy missiles in the launch or boost phase. There are concerns, too, that missile defense batteries have been shifted from the Middle East to focus on the North Korea threat. We have allies and partners in both parts of the world, the Persian Gulf area and Northeast Asia, and it's integral for us to be able to defend and hedge and offset the Iranian North Korean missile threat. The increasing proliferation of ballistic missiles by America's adversaries, these analysts say, requires an equal investment in missile defense technology. Brian Patton, VOA News, Washington.